What's Pussy Poppin', you beautiful humans? Cool. <laughs> My <Hey> name is... <laughs> You just call my own over here. My name is Ariana Andrew. And I'm Matt Dillon. Welcome to another episode of Sippin' the Tea. Where we uh, sip the tea and our guests spill that tea. tea. Oh, oh, wait, don't forget about our little babies. Ready? Three, two, one. Mm. Hey, guys. This is Mama. And this is Glady. I'm super stoked today, though, guys, because we have two men here that couldn't be further apart in careers and what they've done, but have collaborated recently, and it's the perfect timing on a new app called YouTube. One's an international human rights lawyer, the other a celebrated NFL player. We're so excited to have Nolan Carroll and Jean Paul. Jean Paul. Jean Paul. Jean Paul. <laughs> well, should I swap seats so you can no, just no, sit no, here? No, 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 no. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for, Thank you for coming. No How are you guys feeling today? I feel pretty good today. We, we love it out here. You yeah. Know, just, just being out here for a day or so right now, but you know, we just love the vibe of of uh, Cali, just being from Miami and then coming over here, definitely different being on a different coast. It's very different, but I will also say like the weather does kind of give Cali vibes in, yeah. in uh, Florida. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. similar. Very yeah. similar. So basically like you run Miami. Look at this pimp over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these, these two together, you guys look like trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. not I don't, really, not no, really. no, no trouble. No, really, just business. Really. Just business and trouble sometimes. Okay. Well, speaking really. of business, so let's talk about this app. You true. You signed up. I did sign up, oh, and I've already, I've already made some coins. Okay. okay. <laughs> can, I, can I tell the audience how much I've made? You made some coins. I just made some coins. Made some coins. coins. But I found oh, it interesting okay. though that this is the first time you downloaded it and you knew some of the local businesses, which I think is one of the best parts about what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. You're making it community. Agree. And you're helping a consumer and you're helping businesses thrive amongst the million other projects that you do. That's so we'll get into that. Course. But I want to know, what's some of the some of the ones that you were interested in? So the little door, mm -hmm. which is like, you guys should check it out. Um, excuse me, I'm going to need my um, endorsement. Of I'll take door. a calm now. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Third Street and like their food is amazing. I happened to see it and I was like, oh, OK. And then also the recycling. I actually happened to like you know, click and read about recycling because obviously to mm -hmm. save the environment, our environment is a hot mess at the moment. So and it's very interesting to see like all mm -hmm. the um, restaurants and like the local businesses that you guys have on your app. Yes, yes. And so give us a brand child. Like like yeah, so tell us about it. So uh, Nolan, you know, you yeah, have to. I, I know, I know. <laughs> um, a lot of times, I'll just start with this. A lot of times, a lot of these small businesses, they spend so much money just trying to whether it's coupons, advertising, whatever it is, to get in front of consumers or their target audience. Most of the time, you know, we take coupons that are coming in the mail and we ultimately just throw them out. Guilty. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. it's wasted money. And the way John Paul has come up with this app, YouTrue, is giving those small businesses an opportunity to be in, their, in other people's phones to see what type of business are out there, but at the same time, get paid for it as well which we think is a bonus because around this time, holiday season, Correct. people are trying to find ways to make money, save money, look for deals, and YouTube has all of that in there. I mean, when I thought about it, when I looked at it, it's, it's very much exactly what you're saying, because you think about a Groupon mm -hmm. or something in that vein yes. where you scour and scour and scour, and then you're like, oh, okay, you can't find, but imagine you're scouring. Why, why not get paid for that? <laughs> exactly. 1,000% and, and I use the app, and I'm saying, like, the best part about it is because to explain wholly, mm -hmm. I actually see that it's a, it's real. It's yeah, not no, credits. No, it's, it's not credits. Not like, so explain uh, that to us, because I think a lot not, of people are scared of that. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. not credits. It's not points. You're not Correct. earning points. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do so many things just for points. It's real money. And the way we come with, with, the, with the concept is the same way businesses actually print coupons and send it to your, uh, to your door and you throw it away, we use the same concept. Say, so why would you actually send thousands of coupons to people's door that's not really, who's not really watching them, who's not really looking at them? So why don't you redirect this fund for 50% off and send it directly to the consumers? So, but give them some kind of incentive for them to, to, to look at it. Correct. So what we do, we the, the only app that actually do revenue sharing with consumers. So what we do, so you know what? If the coupons were to cost thirty dollars to send it to somebody's house, we're gonna charge you twenty. Um, 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 we're gonna charge you fifteen dollars, which is probably twenty cents per coupon. Okay. And with the twenty cents, we give the consumer ten, mm -hmm. and we keep ten. That makes us the only app that actually do revenue sharing with our users. 
It's it's actually genius. It is. It's genius. It's driven to community. It's genius pairing of you two, actually. I think it's like using somebody's profile. You're like, I've known you for a minute now. Yeah, for a minute. And I think the creative juices. He's very tech driven, so he has all these like this scope of tech. But I think what he has more so. Mm -hmm. His mind is just exploding with ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to know, how did you guys initially meet? We, the real tea. Spill that tea while I sip this tea. <laughs> <laughs> Me and JP met back in April, and it was for a different business opportunity. And at the time, you know, I wanted to make sure if I was going to get into it, I had to ask every question possible. And I was really, honestly, when I was asking these questions, I was trying to stump him. And I was just to make sure, like, he was legit. And I guess I didn't. He was just trying every With a face had. like that? How could you not? That's a trustworthy face, hey, <laughs> <laughs> But no, every question I asked, he had a response for it. And then uh, after that, we just ended up meeting more and more. It seemed like twice a week, three times a week. And then all of a sudden, it was one Saturday morning. We were having breakfast, and he was telling me about YouTube and what it could do. And I saw the possibilities, and he showed me you know, the deck, and he showed me what it could actually do. And I think that day, it didn't even take long. I said, man, look, I want to work with you on this. And yeah. he was generous enough and kind enough to say, hey, look, I want you to be on board. And he gave me the opportunity to be CEO, and he knew what I was capable of doing and what I'd be able to do as far as being the face of YouTube. Right. Correct. I did, in a sense, because I know you have another business yourself, mm -hmm. was that something that, like, kind of was like, you know, this is, he, he has, you have the vibe, like a very mental vibe. It's like the, you know, the two of you together, it's like the yin and the yang and learning techniques and different ideas business wise. Was that an insight for you to be able to be like, you know, you, you're running a successful business mm -hmm. from NFL to business mm -hmm. to this, you know? You almost look up to him in terms of like you know the the Yoda of uh, of, of of business. I mean, you know, you. I think it's I think it's a blessing for you that to be in that presence and vice versa because what you bring to the table as well, I think, is you know, there's unique perspectives on so both sides. That's what I see from him. I was about to ask you what that, that I same see, question. Yeah. What do you? <laughs> I you know? see that from him, and in, in terms of like, I see the the hunger of him wanting to to do business, you know, and the hunger he wants to go beyond NFL. He wants to go like, you know, I want to contribute. I have a son. I see everything in him and, and myself too. I'm hungry to have, to mentor him. So I see myself I in him. I love that. So you know what? Let's partner up. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to make sure I hold your hand and make sure we do it right. So it's going to be an experience for me mentoring you. It's going to be experiencing you listening to me for us to make it work together. Correct. And, um, I told them about my life, and 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 then we 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 want to go the same place. We have the same vision, so I have what it takes. And you do have what it takes. So together, and say you know we can take it to the next level. And since then, we've been uh, going on the grind. Yeah, like on the hustling grind. Yeah. So I have a question for you. So for people who are trying to create an app, mm -hmm. I guess like what advice? would you give them because it seems like there's a lot of like tech and like things that you know can go wrong yeah. with creating an app so, so what what would you myself um i i don't just start in doing um creating apps and stuff so it happens over like about 13 years ago okay i always like um to, to answer your question, I have to go way back and show you how I get to be in the app business or how okay. I get to be in technology and, and what advice I would give somebody to when they, you know, want to create an app, app, a mobile application. So as you know, I was born in Haiti, um, um, went to school in Jamaica and uh, went to England and from England and come to um, um, the United States and went to um, I, my first thing, my first passion, I wanted to be a priest. Oh, wow. Fascinating. That is absolutely <laughs> fascinating because you couldn't be further apart that right is, now. Yeah, that my, is from a different passion, spectrum. I wanted to be a priest uh, when I came to the U.S. and I went to St. Thomas University, um, it's a Catholic University, and um, my major was um, finance. And from finance, uh, because it was a Catholic university, you, you're taking religion. And my first uh, intro to religion class, I felt so holy. I said, you know what? Maybe I want to be a priest. I want to give my my life to God and, and stuff. So 
And I talked to a priest and um, I ended up going to the priesthood. So I spent That's crazy. actually some quiet times in the priesthood. Uh, I did about a year plus discernment to find out if it's what I really wanted to do. And uh, while I was in the priesthood, I realized, I said, no, I want to I wanna get married. I was about to say, he realized when the lady walked past, he's like, oh, I did. He was like, I like that. that. I said, uh, see a bunch of nuns, I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, now he's feeling. <laughs> now he's he feeling. Like, tea. So, but that's yeah, it. That's yeah, reality, yeah. though. So yeah. that's that's real reality. And, Do you think um, that grounded you, though? Because hmm? I, I find being in your presence even right now, mm -hmm. it's like that that year, year and a bit that you were there, yeah. and you had that in the initial thing. I want to yeah. understand that. Yeah. I wanted. Yeah. Do you feel like that? Gra it's a place for you to remember and go back to to bring yourself down with running techs and businesses. Yeah, and things. that's good. That, yeah, it, it does. It does. And then I experience a lot. I learn a lot about life. About you know? yourself, yeah, I'm about sure. Myself in general. And I left, but I did gain something there. So I, it I makes would... me become a better person. And when I went back to the university and I switched my major from finance to psychology, and because I wanted to actually. Uh, understand human behavior and understand people mm -hmm. because i really i thought I, I knew people i didn't know people when i was in the process i really don't know <laughs> so and then i end up, end up graduating with a with a bachelor degree in psychology and um with a minor in business administration mm -hmm. and finance and biology and i said you know what i want to go further so my tick, 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 tick. Psychology right here. Psychology okay. and business marketing. Okay. Yeah. So basically, they can read our minds, Nolan. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So, <laughs> we got to go. So, I even went further. I wanted to be a neuropsychologist um, to design brain surgery, to, to actually get deeper into the brain to understand certain things. But I didn't really go further. I went to, and started a master in mental health counseling mm -hmm. and went to um, law school. So I went to St. Thomas, the same university. You went to St. Thomas University. All these Boston. amazing locations. He went to school at that. Yeah, so in my it's a hard life. Thomas. <laughs> so, uh, graduated with one of the highest degree in law and intercultural human rights. The main reason that I went to the school is to be a human rights lawyer. I wanted to help my country. Hey, so that. You know, I wanted to go back and to be the president. So that was my main. Is that wow. still your goal? Uh, not really. Is that a little, so is that a little too much? I was about to say not really. But <laughs> That's another After episode. that, and I realized, um, yeah, being president is good, but I'm really not going to be able to make an impact in the country because I see so many people, you know, be in power and they don't do nothing. Correct. And I said the best way to do that is, you know, become, becoming wealthy. And with money, you can do real change. Can you say it's that yeah. camera? Yeah, with money. Down that land. Which right there. Change. With money, you can do real change. And I embarked into a journey of creating my first thing while I was in law school. I opened the first rehabilitation home for people with mental disorders. And um, I started with $3,500, I still remember. And uh, a lot of uh, it, it was my test. In, like I was being tested that year. So many friend of mine in uh, graduate law school and um, they went in become lawyers. I graduate, but I never really go and sit for the bar to practice. But I was more engaged into business because I was so driven. And I started my business and um, eating noodles and eggs because I had, that. You know, spent a year and a half grinding, uh, uh, trying to find my way. And while my other friends becoming lawyers and coming to my door with nice cars showing off and say, Yo, you, you're crazy. You need to go and sit for it. For the, for the bar and then go practice and, and stuff. But I never, it was never my intention. My intention was never to be a lawyer and practice. Okay. My intention was to go back home with what I learned and bring back. But I realized it's not going to help. And um, and after a year and a half, and I do believe, I did believe in, um, in what I was doing and it came to fruition. So now some of my friends were working for me, some of the lawyers. Uh, Imagine that. that. <laughs> <laughs> And they wanted to do what I do, but it has to be, I believe everybody has something in them. So you just have to find it, you know, sometimes trial and error, right? Exactly. Trial and error. Trial and error helps. But sometimes we think we want to be an actor because we see an actor. We so engrossed Correct. or observed into that actress, actor, we want to be that person. Mm -hmm. But in reality, this is not really what is in you. So you need All to right. find your, your calling. And since then, I start embarking and, and start 
getting into technology and I end up losing, again, long story, end up losing the business, my first business, because I didn't have the, uh, the management skill. It's one thing to know how to make money, but it's another thing how to keep it. And that's what me and Nolan are talking about. Mm-hmm. And him as an NFL player, he can tell you that too. Like, yeah, it makes money. But yeah, the money's not going to sit around, so you know of how to not. keep it. You know, you need to adventure into business and being creative. I feel like you need to take risks. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Of so course. you just said your first major form of success mm-hmm. yeah, shattered. Yeah, yeah. From but it didn't kill you because you're sitting here now. Exactly. But it didn't kill you. So I think exactly. the lessons that you've learned and perhaps the lessons <clears throat> on the field and your, your journey thus far... Mm-hmm. I know the synergy here is like you want that business. You want to be a businessman. Mm-hmm. I think also you have on your shoulders like the, and it's a weird term, like the, the role model concept because you have a following of, you know, passionate fans that know you from the NFL. Now you're moving into a kind of different kind of world. How does that make you feel? Like, you know, is, is that something you, you wear light, like, you know, is that because I'm like role model is such sometimes a dicey word. Thing. Yeah. Like you got to live your life a certain way because people are watching. Mm-hmm. How does it, you know, what's that make you feel like? I feel cool about it. You know, it's not one of those things where I feel pressure, like, oh, everybody's watching me to be successful. I, I'm not really into, and I never have been, into pleasing other people. I've always good been into you. trying my best to show myself that I can do it. And this is what it is with business. And for me, being in the business world, I know there's gonna be ups and downs, there's gonna be trial and error, there's gonna be days where you're like, man, I just wanna quit. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm getting myself into. So if I know that already, I know when those obstacles come and when those situations arise, okay, this is what you you told yourself in your mind you were going to encounter. You just have to work through it. The best businesses, if you ever look at it, they always had that spot in time in life where they could have just stopped and quit. But they didn't, and they kept going. And you see where they are today. You see the big businesses like Google, Microsoft, uh, freaking... um, uh, the electric cars, Tesla, all those things. Those, those, are yeah. Yeah, those are prime examples of people that they could have quit, but then we wouldn't have the things we have today. I couldn't agree and more. And for me, I want to be an example of somebody that was able to transition. I wouldn't say easily because it takes work, but was able to transition and is showing other people how to transition, at least give them a model. And like I said, my model for me has been Michael Strahan because he was a guy that yeah. I, I also myself, not yeah. even from a broadcasting perspective, as straight up somebody that's he really you see how wonderful he's done that transition. Yeah. But he's also I'm sure it hasn't been as beautiful as it seems on side. No. But yeah, I'm like he is, I would think, one of the hardest working peeps out there. Yeah. Now would you say that you when you um initially decided to play football, that business was gonna come or did that just kind of like happen like how did how did the business mindset come along were you always been business mind um what is the word to use? were you always had the business mind i didn't always have the business mind i knew i wanted to do something besides football once football stopped but for me i got it from my mom i guess because my mom she she did it a couple of times she was in the military for 20 20 years she retired as lieutenant commander so wow. she went from that Hats off to her. Yeah, she for real. She was in a political office too, right? Yeah, and she went from that to political office. She's a badass. Yeah, so she started from the bottom where people didn't really give her an opportunity to. (laughs) She caught that burn path. Yeah, right. And before that, even before she went in the military, she was an immigrant from Trinidad. So she went from she immigrated from Trinidad to the United States, went into the military as the lowest you can be as far as you know an officer. She was an aviation mechanic, and back then this was. I think the 60s or 70s, aviation she mechanics. Mama, don't worry, he ain't giving your age away. No, I, I <laughs> He's like, Mama's watching him. She's like, yeah. right, don't watch yourself. But <laughs> it's, it, it was tough for her because at the time, it was hard for African-Americans. And it was also hard because she's an African-American woman that's an immigrant. So mm-hmm. it was even harder. And for her to... I get back, girl. But mm-hmm. she, yeah. she's, she's got... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for her to work like that, get to where she's gotten, and then transition into an office role and she ended up winning her seat and then to go from that to being almost the second highest ranking person in the state of florida which was lieutenant commander she was the first ever african-american woman that's lieutenant wow. commander. so she when i saw that i was like man she's 
She's cool. She knows what to do. Oh, you got to step up. Yeah. <laughs> you got to step up. Man, a, oh, you know? I would say as a man, but I would say what a beautiful kind of path that you've seen. Mm -hmm. And something like that. I mean, God, there's some, yeah, it's, keep it, keep it on. And I think you are though. Yeah. I think yeah. it's like two Yodas over here. I don't know whether your, your influences go over here because he's had the influence of his mother. But I feel like the pairing of you two, there's only another joy that's kind of just as good as you guys. It's just, you know. So we, love and you know what I will say. But I am saying, in all realness. Yeah, the law of attraction. Do you guys believe in that? Yeah. Like, you know, it seems like with both of you guys' stories that it was like you guys were destined to do business together mm -hmm. and such great people because you do find a lot of people who have come, you know, from a sports background and an entrepreneur and background. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. But, that are, but that are like, Honestly. you know, Okay. don't have such a like a good heart you know what i mean they're doing it for all the wrong reasons and it yeah. seems like for you too that you guys are doing it for all the right reasons and showing people the pathway of like hey you can do this it may be hard work mm -hmm. but i also know that when people um are successful and you know really well off they're not happy mm -hmm. but it seems like you guys have done all the work to yeah. create happiness yeah. and you know spreading the word so That's i love that happiness you have to do things you're happy and then make others happy mm -hmm. so it's all about giving back you know everything that i do it's not trying to be egocentric it's trying to give back trying to see how i can my happiness not only i don't find happiness in myself i find happiness in when i give somebody and when somebody's happy i'm happy 1000 percent so that's where my my, my smile comes from so, oh my god you really have it oh my god like, you know that's where it comes from so, <laughs> well, you really have i think it. there's no better way to end on that yes. that positivity that you guys like infuse together and the the direction you guys are taking with the app i think it's an exciting time i want to start with you nolan can you look into that camera and tell people where they can follow you right, right there yeah. where they can follow you on social okay i have on instagram twitter I think Facebook, I just found yes, out. Yes, Facebook. <laughs> I just found out that I'm still on it. Um, Carol City, C-A-R-R-O-L-L-C-I-T-Y. -L -L and Jean Damn, Paul. Jean Paul. Actually, on, um, I don't have actually Facebook. Uh, Instagram, it's uh, one Jean Paul one. Just simple. Damn. And where can we get the YouTube app? Download it. Uh, it's in um, um, Apple Store and um, Android and Google Play. Hey, all right. And you can fo follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew and at This Little Nugget at Gritty Grit. I'm Matt Dillon, Matt Dillon 1983. And I, uh, she's out cold, so I forget about it actually at this time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. On um, Focus TV. Until next week on Sipping That Tea, we will catch you guys later. Bam, let's sip some tea. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, you got the wrong number. Click.